Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay. Okay, fine. No problem. I'll use my notepad. Okay. Okay. So we have the function and the sub. Okay. So basically for both of them, the way you create, it's going to be the same. Okay. Creation of the function and then creation of the sum it is sub it is one and the same all right we got to use the same function and then sub that is going to be the same so what is the difference over here the difference is the way we call them okay and why this difference exists because a function is something that is going to return the value okay but sub does not return the value okay and then so when it is returning the value we need to have a variable to collect the value okay and use the brackets okay for the function but for the sub it is not going to return the value so there is no need of variable to collect the value neither we got to use the brackets I'm sure you are not very much clear on this okay I will give you an example okay um, let's say we have Lavanya Lavanya is a function okay then prerna is sub for us. Okay, lavanya is function and prerna is sub. So I have asked lavanya to add the two numbers. Okay, then same thing for prerna. I have asked prerna to add the two numbers. Okay, what lavanya is going to do is she will not only add the two numbers but she will also return the value to me. She will tell that okay, after adding the two numbers. I have got the result. She is going to return the result to me. Is it clear? If I tell Lavanya to add the two numbers, she will not only add the two numbers, but she will also return what is the result. Okay? Clear everybody? Fine. Now come to Prerna. What Prerna does is, when I ask her to add the number, she only adds the number. She is not going to return the value back to us. Okay, this is the difference between Lavanya and Prerna. That is function and the sub. Clear everybody? What is the difference? Any doubts? Okay. Now look at Lavanya over here. Now when she is returning the value to me, 
don't you think my presence should be over here i should be present here to collect the result from her correct but here when it is sub like prerna okay she is adding me the adding the two numbers for me she is not returning the results she is directly displaying them to the user so i need not be present over here to collect the result clear everybody okay so let's write again so function is something which is going to return the value or the result but sub is not going to return the value okay so that is the reason when we are using the function we need a variable that is going to collect the result and what about the sub there is no need of any this kind of variable because anyways you know prerna is not returning the value to us there is no need of any variable to collect the result over here all right and for the function we are going to use the parenthesis means we used to we got to use the brackets in order to pass the parameters okay so to pass the parameters we need the brackets or the parenthesis here but here in the sub not required is it clear everybody creation is same okay both are going to add the numbers for us the steps are same but when we call them this is how they are going to behave any doubts is it clear everybody okay fine now so do you see here when i am telling f at 10 comma 30 so it is expecting some value to be returned over here okay so i have to have some variable to collect it now execute it it will not give you the error the way you call it's going to be the same okay and the way you write the function or the sub that is also going to be the same do you see here okay and where exactly we use it see whenever you know we have the steps to be executed and that function is not going to return the value we are sure of it then we can use the sub but when we are expecting some value to be returned so that you know we can use that result for some further operations then we got to use the function okay fine everybody okay see creation is same okay whether you create a function or a sub it is in the same way use this function and then end function name of the function and then pass the parameters but the way you call it's going to be different clear yes sub is a function that is not going to return the value exactly prakriti correct okay so now what you got to do is you have written how to add the two numbers how to do the subtraction you have written how to do the multiplication division and then the remainder now you got to implement the same thing using the function okay whatever operations you are doing put them inside the function and make the entire program modularized okay go ahead and do it for a simple calculator you got to use the function now okay yes meanwhile i'll check um the debug error okay tell me who has that problem of debug okay prerna yes prakriti you can accept the number by input also but what is happening here you know if you take the input then the user is going to give the one set of value only right so if we want multiple set of values i just you know called over here okay okay prerna show me your screen and everybody write this program okay saujanya no problem i'm showing it here okay so your debug viewer is here okay press on f11 
okay um yeah click on okay okay do one thing go to the view then click on the debug viewer and uncheck the data table okay do you see here in the bottom yeah you can pull it up prerna okay so what you do is if it is not appearing during the execution okay go to the view and then say make it visible okay yes and um, saujanya uh, are you getting the same problem can you try the solution please okay saujanya check if this uh, is going to solve your problem Okay, Saujanya, let me know. Okay, if it solves your problem, or I'll log into your screen. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left-hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. 
experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.